Flying around the world by yourself is uh, an extreme challenge. Of course, you have a large team that's working with you remotely, but you're the one that have to fly through the thunderstorm. You're the one that have to fly through the monsoon. I had 27 stops across 13 countries. And in each stop, I would get fuel. In some cases, I was able to rest, stay a few days. In other cases, I had to keep on going. I had a few close calls. I landed in Egypt, and I was held up by guys in flip-flop shorts and AK-47s pointed straight at my airplane. I was flying into Shemi, Alaska, and a major ice storm popped up. When I was over Saudi Arabia, went from a nice clear day to next thing you know, you see a wall of sand approaching you rapidly. I was able to set a Guinness World Record of being the youngest person ever to fly solo around the world, and also the first black man to accomplish it. When I landed back in Miami after flying for 97 days, I'll never forget shutting down the engine, taking a deep breath, and opening the cockpit door, and it was literally five, 6,000 people there. And to see so many kids cheering me on, that's when I realized I had the attention of young people, and the transition began of not only just being a pilot, but also trying to become an educator. I established our nonprofit experience aviation because I wanted to challenge kids the same way my mentor challenged me. I didn't realize it was a challenge. I just thought it was something cool. So I truly believe in the potential of young people. And I'm able to do some amazing things with kids by using math and science. I'll say to kids from failing schools, I want you to build me an airplane from scratch. And they'll look at me crazy. These kids are just like I used to be. They don't really have the confidence, but they have all the potential in the world. So I say, not only do I believe you can build this airplane, but I will fly it if you build it. And I will get these students to come together, overcome different challenges, and actually build this airplane. And I'll never forget, after I flew the plane that the kids built, a few of the kids ran up to me and said, this is the first thing I've ever accomplished. I'm like, what do you mean? You wash the dishes? That's accomplishing something. They're like, no, you don't understand. This is the first thing I ever accomplished. And to see them go through that transition and realize their potential, it's priceless.